have a triumphant day everyone this is again the online teacher blog and we have another short blog video which is entitled ioa 120 hour tso certificate answer key for module one teaching and learning question one two seven so before we start please subscribe like and share to our channel which is the online teacher blog so we have here the 120 hour TESOL certificate. So we have the course overview, which is module 10, one to 10, from module one to 10. So the topics that we tackle today is about module one, which is the teaching and learning. For module two, linguistics, module three, reading, module four, writing, module five, speaking. Module 6, Listening. Module 7, Pedagogy. Module 8, Lesson Planning. Module 9, Classroom Management. And lastly, Module 10, Getting a TESOL Job. So let's start now with question number 1 for my course, 120 Art TESOL Certificate, which is under Module 1, Teaching and Learning. So we have here the exam page. Please note, you will be graded on the answer you give on this page. So choose the correct answer. Question number one. According to Lachir, which of the following is an inherent need all human needs, humans require for emotional health? A. The need for food. B. The need to belong c the need for money d the need to learn so what's your answer so the answer here is letter b the need to belong so according to glacier which of the following is an inherent need all human requires for emotional health so the answer is the need to belong Let's go now to the next page, which is question number two. Which of the following are the two types of motivation? A. Extraneous. B. Extrinsic. C. Intrinsic. D. Intuitive. So what's your answer? So the answer is letter B and letter C, which is the extrinsic and intrinsic. So that is the two types of motivation just remember it's in and ex extrinsic and intrinsic okay so let's go now to the next page which is the number three question can a student's cultural background affect his or her learning choose the correct answer a yes because people learn from the world around them B. Yes, because different cultures have different educational strengths. C. No, because individuals are born with a specific learning style. D. No, because people need to escape their culture to learn. So what's your answer? It's letter B. So, yes, because different cultures have different educational strengths. So, it's a uh, student's cultural background can affect her or, or his learning. It's yes. So, the reason is because different cultures have different cultural strengths. Now, let's proceed to question number four. Which of the following are common barriers a new English language learners must or might run into? A. Getting used to learning a language with, with no cognates. B. Getting used to letters and words instead of conceptual symbols. C. Getting used to reading right, left to right. D. Getting used to the orders of adjectives and nouns in ascendance. So what's your answer? It's letter 
letter B, C, and D. So the answer for the question, which of the following are common barriers a new language learner might run into? So letter B, getting used to letters and words instead of conceptual symbols. C, getting used to reading left to right. And letter D, getting used to the order of adjectives and nouns in a sentence. So those are the three answers for number four. Number five is what are cognates? So letter A, a term for linguistic principles that concerns the order of words. B, a term for a linguistic principles that concerns the context of the sentence. C, a word that has a common etymology with similar words in different languages. D, a word that is unique to one language. So what's your answer? <laughs> it's letter C, a word that has a common etymology with similar words in different languages. So that is cognates. Now let's move on to the next page which is number six confirm if the following statements are true or false letter a breaking words down to the root parts is a greater way to help students understand english is it true or false letter b students learning english for the first time should not be able to use translations in the native language is it true or false so what are your answers it's letter for letter a it's true and for letter b is false so let's uh, take a look again for letter a breaking words down to the root path is a great way to help students understand english so it's true and for letter b students learning english for the first time should not be able in use translations in their native language so it's false now let's proceed to the last but not the least question and answer that we have which of the following are basic skills that students need to master to have english fluency a pedagogy b classroom management c reading d writing so what's your answer is letter C and D, which is reading and writing. So again, the question is which of the following are basic skills that students need to master to have English fluency? So you need to read and to write. So I think that's all for our answer key, which is for module one teaching and learning i hope you've learned a lot from our short vlog video today thank you for watching to the bridegroom jesus christ be all the glory this is again the online teacher blog until next time bye